Welcome back. I'm Stephanie Rule. This just in. The woman who joined ISIS in Syria and is now suing the Trump administration to allow her to return to the United States is speaking exclusively to NBC News for the first time since being told she can't return. Hoda Muthuna just spoke to NBC's chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel, who's made his way into Syria as he filed this incredible report just moments ago. This is the Al Hol refugee camp, and this is where some of the ISIS family members are being kept. At this camp alone, there are more than 1,500 people from 48 different countries, wives and children of ISIS members. Among them uh, here is American-born Hoda Muthanna. Yesterday on the Today Show, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that Muthanna has no right to U.S. passport, that she has no right to the return to the United States. This morning, I showed Hoda that video and got a response. I read the papers and, and I know, in fact, that I was a citizen. And when I tried filing for a passport, it was very easy. It came in 10 days. So I thought I didn't have a problem. And I'm sure there's no problem. And I know my lawyer hopefully is working on it and he will win the case. Do you think you'll be able to go back to the United States? Do you want to go to the United States? I prefer America other than anywhere else, yeah. And what do, you, what do you want to do if you went back to the States? What do you think will happen to you if you were to, um, allowed to go back? Of course, I'll be given jail time. Muthanna's lawyer disputes the State Department's claim that she was issued a passport incorrectly. Uh, Muthanna says she desperately hopes to return to the United States. She claims she was brainwashed online by ISIS and now has changed. Back to you. Yikes. i got to get my panel in on this one. A.B., what is your reaction to this? My reaction is that she said she prefers the U.S. to other places. This country is a gift, and I think she's relinquished her um, privilege. And I'm kind of in agreement with the president that she, um, m you know, may not be allowed to, shouldn't be allowed to come back here. And I, I, I guess she, her argument is she should come back and serve jail time. It's very complicated, but um, we can't uh, allow everyone who is brainwashed and radicalized online to come back in and potentially infiltrate again here domestically. So it's, it's a very thorny question, but she took a risk and she's going to pay the consequences. There are white domestic terrorists who get radicalized online all the time in America who are out shooting people, threatening to kill people in Silver Spring. And we're not deporting and them? The, and, 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 and we're not deporting them. They're still allowed to be here. She's an American citizen. If she's willing to come back, and face whatever consequences she faces for being a part of a terrorist organization that's declared war in the United States, that's perfectly fine. But this idea that this administration has been promoting, that we can pick and choose who citizens are and determine citizenship based on if we like somebody or their ideology, is anti-American. She is still an American citizen. She should be allowed to come back. Philippe? I'm going to get this segment wrong, too. I, I'm somewhere in between that. <laughs> you know what? That's a There's safe no place. There's no right or wrong. You know what? You started the last one wrong. Well, the last one. <laughs> you ended on a high note. And that was a rehearsal, right? That wasn't on TV. <laughs> yeah, this show's taped. Don't worry about it. You know, I worked in the State Department for four years. I understand the, the legal requirements and rights that this woman has. So, yes, if she wants to come back, I think she should be allowed to come back. I would feel a hell of a lot better if... Uh, she were facing charges before she came back, and she would know what that was. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know the background to it. But I do, to the extent that I give her any credit <coughs> or benefit of the doubt, she said that she's willing to face the consequences. I think that needs to be more tangible. And that Meaning more be... tangible? When she says face the consequences, she has to articulate what that is? No, we should articulate what that is. I don't know in what jurisdiction she committed a crime, right. but she should know that she is facing X charges in X jurisdiction, X felony for X amount of years. Obviously, she gets due process, benefit of uh, assuming that she's innocent to proven guilty, but it can't be this just vacuum of everyone gets to come back no matter what they do to our country. And just being a part of ISIS, we need to determine exactly, because we, we've had people flee and join ISIS before. You had somebody do that a couple years ago. We need well, to determine... It, Let's not give ISIS excuses, okay? Well, I'm not giving ISIS excuses. What I'm saying is people have left and joined these kinds of terrorist organizations before. People join terrorist organizations domestically. Mm -hmm. They should know what the consequences of those things are. And just because she was a part of ISIS, I would like to know, similar to you, look, did you help in any bombings? Did you help in any planning? Did you give people information about America? Because that determines what kind of punishment you should receive. But again, she's an American citizen, and if there's anybody who should punish her, it should be us back here because she's an American citizen. 
All right, this is a complicated one. Up next, breaking news, Democrats.